It's Hack Across America for April 10th, 2013, and I am a little bit high. Um, just a little quick update. This isn't something that I kind of mentioned before, but um, now that it's done and I'm good and everything's swell, I uh, just had um, some surgery, nothing major, outpatient stuff, but they did have to go into my tummy and fix some stuff. And now um, I'm recovering, and uh, it was one of those, this is classic me, <clears throat> this is classic IT, I know that you guys do this too, where you're like, oh, that, that's going to take like, like okay, I'll, get that, I'll get that done in like five minutes. And then like four hours later, you're still like mucking in a SQL database, wondering why everything is falling apart, because you look at every problem like, oh, that should be nothing, it's, it's IT or whatever, and anyway... So that's kind of what I just did with this, where I thought that, um, oh, outpatient, that's like, that's like dentistry, right? That's like, you go in and they put you under and they go inside with some cameras and they clicky clicky some stuff and then they stitch you up and you go home and you'll feel a little groggy when the anesthesia wears off, but you just take those pills they gave you and you'll be back to work tomorrow. Nope. <laughs> so that's why Hack Across America is starting uh, next month. Uh, was trying to actually launch it on April 15th, not for tax evasion reasons, but just because it sounded like a good day. And uh, so that's not going to happen. It's going to be um, beginning of May. And I guess, um, yeah, this should be good. Uh, so I'm shooting from home right now. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys my home. This is just some of it, but uh, that's actually a top-loading fridge that's so going to go into the van. I'm excited about that. Otherwise, I'm just taking it easy for the next two weeks, so expect uh, some stuff from here. I've got to shoot Hack 5 a little later. And so I set up my rig, because I'm not working from the studio, I'm working from home now, so I can't believe I hadn't done this, but uh, I hadn't set up my desktop in since I moved into this joint a year ago. Um, so I haven't booted up this machine in so long since I've just been rocking laptops, but um, something to be said about a desktop. And... One of the things that I just noticed when like first boot up and I'm like, oh, need to blow out this operating system, get myself resituated, go into the BIOS. Their message is gone now, but uh, is this Award or Phoenix? This is Award. So the Award BIOS pops up and it's all like, yo dog, this system has had instability and been crashing because of the blah -de blahs And I'm all like, oh man, you don't want to blah -de -de your blah. So, um... Turns out it was saying like because of the overclocking settings and I'm like, oh right, this is my liquid cooled rig with all the crazy video cards. And and like look at this, this is beautiful. Like clock ratios and um you know the ability to change like, you know, all of these different boost features, being able to set my sleep states and you know, changing BCLK frequencies, you know, like uh you know, remember when we used to go in and tweak like you know, voltages, and uh, yeah, I've got voltage settings here, I've got my RAM settings, I can I can actually change the CAS settings, and not just CAS, but CAS and T, uh, TRCP, I used to remember what all of these meant, and, um, whoops, and yeah, leave everything on auto, I, I need to go back and rechange this, like, I don't remember if this is actually a uh, frontside bus, or if that changed. It's been quite a while. I used to overclock Athlons, but those were my AMD days. Anyway, the reason I bring this up is I'm just, I'm looking at like this conversation that we were having at, uh, on TNT, um, last week talking about, you know, uh, Windows and its future and, uh, compared to Android. Uh, and it's like, well, wait a second. Suddenly, you know, if we had that conversation two years ago, we'd say it's apples and oranges, but it's not anymore, right? Because a lot of people are talking about, you know, their first computer technically being a tablet, just like a lot of people's first exposure, you know, especially in the third world, being uh, through a smartphone to the internet. And so um, it's going to be really interesting in these next couple of generations because I, I hope that this is never lost. I mean, I know that we've made the transition from like BIOS to EFI and whatnot, but... Um, I hope that there's some way, even with, you know, the tablets and the takeover of ARM and the um, and the simplification of these operating systems, going to more of a content consumption instead of a content creating basis. I, I hope that we're still doing LAN parties and tweaking frontside bus speeds and overclocking CPUs and liquid cooling with nitrogen. And I, I just hope that that never goes away. Not like the BBSs and whatnot. 
so anyway, that's that's just a thought for me to you, and um, and I'm gonna rest up and feel better, and uh, so send me some love, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.